Hey coin collectors, I know most of our viewers and subscribers, including favorite subscribers to whom we are grateful for their financial support, very much like coins featuring Queen Elizabeth II. Therefore decided today to show you several 5 pence coins struck by British Royal Mint within span of 3 decades. Together we'll find out main features, learn about their mintage, guiding price and all. So hit subscribe button below this video if you're first time on our channel and let's get rolling. Let's begin in chronological order, 1995 pence. We have two examples of some, both at higher circulated condition, extremely fine most likely. These are copper nickel coins with weight of 3.2 grams and diameter is 18 millimeters. The British decimal 5 pence coin, often pronounced 5p, is a unit of currency equaling 5 one hundredths of a pound sterling. Mintage is more than 1.6 billion. All circulation coins for 1990 were minted to the new standard. However, the uncirculated the proof mint sets issued this year had both the old and new 5 pence pieces. Additionally, a small silver set was issued with both sizes in silver, with mintage of 35,000. Coins I'm holding are both sharply struck specimens. What prevents these coins from mint state grade is loss of original mint luster and numerous tiny size circulation marks. One to the right is untoned with reflective nickel gray surfaces, while on one on the left we see some warm hues on upper western part of the coin. According to NGC price guide at extremely fine condition like these, 5 P's are worth 30 US cents. Even at higher mint states like MS65, they are worth between 2 to 3 dollars. Proof 5 pence variants sell for 9 to 25 dollars on eBay. For instance, these 1990 silver proof 5 pence 2 coin set, boxed and certified, ended up selling for $18.38 just on December 11th, 2022, in an eBay auction. Moving on to the 1991 5 pence circulated coin at very fine condition and slightly abraded surfaces. Also minted from copper and nickel, meaning 75% copper, 25% nickel. This piece I'm holding displays reflective and blemish free surfaces. Letterings are crisply struck on the highest points of Elizabeth's bust, mainly on hair area. Slight softness catches the eye. But this I'm sure is trace of dye fatigue, otherwise called weak strike rather than circulation rub or wear. Reverse side exhibits vibrant copper and nickel luster, all device elements are sharply detailed. Fields are almost free from mentionable contact marks, except one abrasion under the letters. Overall eye appeal is pleasant. Mintage of this coin is more than 724 million, examples struck are pretty common at circulated and lower uncirculated grades. Even at Miss Day 65, they are worth just $2.50 as for NGC price guide. On eBay, ungraded 5 pence of that year sell between $1 to $5. For instance, this brilliant uncirculated 5p from 1991 was sold for $3.37 on November 26, 2022 in an eBay auction. Moving on with this coin struck one year later, 1992 5 pence, also at very fine condition, but this one with some tarnished stocks around the beaded circle on the letterings, mainly on the date of minting. Strike of diadem is sharp, yet we see medium dye softness on the hair part of the bust. Focal areas demonstrate circulation marks here as well. On the reverse crown Cecil, which is formerly the badge of Scotland, is what struck and exhibits nowhere at all. In 1992, the Royal Mint produced over 453 million 5Ps. At circulated grades, they are not worth much unless, unless they have some dramatic mint errors. What you should look for is superb gem proof with deep or ultra cameo feature. For instance, this exquisite specimen grade as proof 70 with mentioned designation inside PCGS slab ended up selling for little more than $97 on December 9th, 2022 in an eBay auction. Now 
Next comes this beautiful 2005 five pence with all the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II which is considered her fourth and last portrait on Commonwealth coinage. Diameter and weight is the same. Coin is a choice where you find condition with some reflectivity on the fields. In significant amount of tarnish reside around beaded circle but fields are mainly free from patination or tonic. Motifs of device is not that strong but letterings are sharp and show no wear. Marks of contact only limited to several not that deep abrasions on the right half of, of the coin. Reverse that displays brilliant reflectivity. The best feature is absence of mentionable contact marks. Surfaces are nicely preserved and exhibit sharply struck design elements. On eBay, these regular strike 5 pens can be fetched for between $1 to $7 depending on its state. A moving decade forward, 2015 five pence with quite a different reverse design and metal composition. The five pence coin was originally minted from copper and nickel, as I mentioned before, but in January 2012 it changed to nickel plated steel due to increasing price of metal. From January 2013, the Royal Mint began a program to gradually remove the precious copper and nickel coins from circulation with replacement by the nickel plate is still versions. Reverse side depicts badge of Scotland no more, but the center of royal shield showing the meeting point of the four quarters, with the value and denomination five pence in the middle. Unlike the earlier reverse, there is no beading around the coin circumference. This one is most likely at lowest mean state that is MS60. As it displays very potent nickel grade mint luster on most areas, but seeing some haziness around the bust and wispy handling scratch, I also tend to think it's AU58. Nevertheless, coin has a very charming eye appeal. But this pretty new coin with high mintage, therefore worth less than $3 even at mint day 65 as for NGC price cut. That's all for today, take care and have a wonderful day.